Hello and welcome back to the Hirschfelden Reserve in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Today we will continue where we left off last week. We'll be working on the second mission in the area, which is saving Sommer's cornfields. Everything you see now is part of the reserve, but the land itself is actually privately owned by the Sommer family. The current head of the family is Robert Sommer, and he's very supportive of the hunting reserve. Well, as long as it doesn't get in his way. You see, the Zommel family business has an agricultural arm, which include the grain and corn fields spread throughout half of the reserve. Unfortunately, fallow deer love corn, and they've dug into the Petershain fields recently. Zommel usually turns to Gerlinda to keep the fallows off his fields, but she's been bogged down with the book lately. If you feel like hunting some fallow deer in Petershain, Zommel will make it worth your while. As you can see from the map, for this mission, we'll have to head quite a ways up north. So it's a good idea to visit some of the watchtowers along the way, and to save time, you can visit the nearest outpost and hop on one of the ATVs. The views in this reserve are nothing short of spectacular, so I hope you are enjoying the outdoors while being stuck indoors. You may even find some hidden treasures left over from World War II while you're at it. There are hundreds, well thousands of years of history in this place. It's been touched by everything from the sandals of Roman legionnaires to the treads of World War II tanks. Every year, new historical artifacts are found by people in the reserve. Perhaps you'll be lucky enough to find some of your own. When you eventually get to the cornfields, just as before, you'll want to arrive at the best possible time, which is early morning. This is when the fallow deer come to feed in the fields, and it will be much easier to locate them. These are the Petershain fields. Zomer would probably want you to harvest at least two fallow deer. I know Gerlinde usually finds a good position by the fields and lures them out. If you have an antler rattler, it'll come in handy. Don't worry, they'll show up eventually. Lure hunting takes a bit of patience, but getting that perfect shot makes it all worth it. We won't need the rattle to find the fallow deer since we already know they feed here in the mornings, but it may come in useful for positioning a deer when other factors like wind direction come into play. With it being around 8 a.m., we roughly have until 9.30 game time to find a couple deer. Fallow deer like to feed in the early morning between 5 a.m. until 9.30, and then again in the evenings between 1700 and 2100 hours. This is the time to catch them in these cornfields. As you can see, I ditched the ATV and started walking as soon as I got closer to the cornfields. Keep an eye out as they can be in the surrounding fields and woods as well, not just in the corn. I'll be using the Eckers rifle with 30 out 6 caliber, but you can also take these down pretty easily with the 243 if that's all you have at this point. As you'll see in a moment, a well-placed shot from the 30 out 6 has enough penetration to stop any deer in its tracks. And that's ideal, as you'll want to spend less time tracking and more time hunting. You got one? Great! Don't forget to harvest it. Then, on to another. Now, I wasn't actually in the cornfield, so although it seems like that deer should have counted, especially with how the dialogue was updated, unfortunately it was for a different mission, and we still need two more fallow deer to complete this one. That's okay, we will just head on over closer to the cornfields.
As I get close, I like to stop near some cover and take a good look out into the field or any open area just to make sure I don't spook any animals. Looks like there's a nice group over that way. That one there is a max weight, so we definitely want to take that one down as there's always a chance it can respawn as a diamond sometime in the future. Sometimes these max weight animals even turn out to be a diamond, although there's a very small chance, and I have never seen this happen with fallow deer. The antlers on a diamond fallow are much, much larger. Let's move in closer so we can get a good shot. It's always a good idea to go into your map after you spot an animal and mark it with a waypoint. I didn't do that here and in between my walk between cornfields, the terrain changed quite a bit to the point where I lost my line of sight with the deer. I ended up getting a little bit too close and spooked the max weight deer. Luckily a smaller male decided to stick around long enough for me to get a shot on him. Since the feeding time was drawing to an end, I decided to visit the nearby watchtower. Ah, Spreberg. This is the place you've probably seen on every Hirschfelden postcard. Spreberg Castle, overlooking the lake at the top of the hill. Yeah, I don't even have to sell it to you. It really is picturesque. On the way back, I decided to give the cornfield one last check just in case. Being able to take this deer now would save a lot of time. And sure enough, there he was, but I would have to take a shot with him on the move, as he clearly was already on his way out of the cornfield, heading over to a drink zone. It appears that I was able to tuck that shot in and catch his lung. Let's go pick this deer up and complete this mission. There you go! Another one! I'll let Zomer know. This should calm his nerves. Well, it seems someone is making new friends. I just had a chat with Robert Zomer, and he was very pleased with how you took care of the fallow deer in his cornfields. You know, Zomel is a real enthusiast of special equipment hunting. Bow hunting is one of his passions. As a thank you for your work, he wants to invite you to partake in his favorite pastime. He's challenging you to hunt a red fox using a bow. I think it's some kind of rite of passage. Thanks for joining me on this adventure in Hirschfelden. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. As always, thank you for your support and I will see you on the next one.